everybody, Pastor Greg here. Obviously, I am not Mr. Joe. He has taken the week off. I am here at the church somewhere in between a mountain in Galilee and a hill in Bethany. So let's pick up God's big story and look at what the disciples did right after Jesus rose from the dead. The disciples were a group of Jesus' closest friends and followers. They had seen everything that Jesus done and everything that had happened to him. They saw his amazing miracles and the crowds of people who followed him everywhere he went. They resembled how God declared to the world that Jesus was his son when Jesus was baptized. The disciples had seen Jesus raise Lazarus from the dead. They saw how his friend Judas betrayed him, but most amazingly, they had seen Jesus literally die on a cross and then come back to life. After all they had seen and heard, it's no wonder that the disciples showed up when Jesus told them to meet him on a mountain in Galilee. Jesus had a really important job for them, and he wanted to tell them about it. Here's what Jesus said. Go ahead and open your Bible now if you want to Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20. Matthew wrote, You must go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you, and you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. I wonder what it would have been like for the disciples to hear those words from Jesus. I know. I know. It's kind of like if you were uh, playing a sport where you have a coach, or if you're involved in drama and you have a coach, or anything like that. This is what I want you to do right now. If you have a coach or somebody who gives you good direction or anything like that, I want you to write your, their name down in the comment. Or if you play a sport or have a favorite sport, maybe put that in the comment and we can pray over those people or those things for you right now. See, coaches, they give direction. They tell the team what the plays should be and then how to accomplish them in order to reach the end goal. They encourage their team to give their best effort, just like your parents always encourage you to give your best effort. See, that's like what Jesus was doing. Jesus was trying to make sure the disciples knew their mission, to tell people in every nation about him. He wanted to make sure they felt ready for what they were, what they were supposed to do. He had given the disciples a big job, huge but I bet it felt really good for them to hear that he would always, always be with them. After the disciples returned to Jerusalem, he led them to a hill outside the city near Bethany. Let's open our Bibles now to Acts 1. We're going to look at verses 4 and 5. That's Acts 1, verses 4 and 5. See, one day, Jesus was eating with them. He gave them a command. Do not leave Jerusalem, he said. Wait for my gift my Father promised. Wait for the gift my Father promised. You have heard me talk about it. John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized by the Holy Spirit. Make sure I have that right. Jesus was telling his friends to wait. Telling them to wait. He knew he had given them a big job. We all know how hard it is to wait right now as we're waiting for this to end, as we're waiting to go back to our church, as we're waiting to go back to the things we do. It's hard to wait. It was a huge job, a mission even. But he also knew they would need help. He wanted them to wait until the Holy Spirit would come to be their helper. Jesus told them in Acts verse 1-8, you will receive power with the whole, when the 
You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Then you will tell people about me in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria. You will even tell other people about me from one end of the earth to the other. Then Jesus was taken up to heaven. Running out of helium in this time right now. So now, obviously, we know that Jesus didn't fly up to heaven in a hot air balloon. I was just being silly. But we do know that Jesus rose up into heaven right there in front of the disciples. They stood there and watched him until a cloud hid him from their view. Suddenly, two men dressed in white stood beside them. Let's open our Bible now to Acts 1.11. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking at the sky? Jesus has been taken away from you into heaven. He will come back in the same way you saw him go. These angels showed up and basically told the disciples it was time to get moving. Jesus had already told them what to do. Now it was time to go do it. See guys, Jesus had given his followers what seemed to be an impossible job. He told them to share his story and his love in every country across the entire world. The disciples weren't sure how to begin. Such a huge mission. But for now, Jesus had told them to wait in Jerusalem. He had promised to send the Holy Spirit to them. So they waited. They waited in Jerusalem for the Holy Spirit to come. They trusted that God would give exactly what they needed to not only start the job, but also to keep it going. The mission, the huge job, Jesus gave his disciples is actually the same one that we still have today. To share God's love with others and to share the good news about Jesus. We can keep going with determination because we know God is with us. The bottom line, keep going, even when it seems impossible. Let us pray and ask God to help us. God, thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus. Thank you for trusting the disciples with the big job of telling the world who you are. Thanks for letting us do part of that job too, Please help us keep going even when it seems impossible. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, a couple other things that we can do. This month's memory verse is from Galatians 6 9. Hopefully, you can see that. Zoom in there a little bit, maybe. It says, Let us become tired of doing good at the right time. We will gather a crop if we don't give up. So here's my challenge for you guys. This is your memory verse for the month, so I want you to work on it, kids. Practice it. Have your parents record it and then post it to our Tip City Facebook page or to something else, and let's do our part, just like the disciples, to spread the good news, because there is still good news. You guys have a great rest of the day, and I can't wait to see you all soon.